Many people are aware of the archaeological site known as Gobekli Tepe, an astonishing site of clearly great antiquity, a site like many others which dot our earth, which displays a far more sophisticated understanding, construction, and living practices to that of which would be publicly accepted by much of modern academia. Instead, it is often more favored to merely ignore such data as abnormalities, or it seems, if possible, to lock such controversies away from inquisitive minds, deep within archives or underwater. And our next site is no exception. Although Gobekli Tepe has become a synonymous candidate for evidence of a once highly advanced, ancient civilization which once flourished here on our planet, it is not the only site to be found within the area, or even the most astonishing. Known as Norsen Tepe, this is the real gem of archaeological Turkey. And yet, just like Waffle Rock, a site we have previously covered on our channel, located within the US, it lay at the bottom of a man-made dam, submerged deliberately and conveniently very shortly after some highly controversial discoveries were beginning to be made at the site. An enormous mounded fort, designed and shaped with a purpose of providing a sophisticated living quarters, when the site was excavated, it was found that no less than 40 inhabitations were present within the strata. Excavations were conducted between 1968 and 1974 by the German Archaeological Institute. Archaeologists, led by Harold Hopman, the Heidelberg Professor of Prehistory and Early History, found considerable evidence to suggest that many of the later inhabitants of this sophisticated fort were themselves highly advanced, seemingly preserving many mysterious items left by many as yet unknown people. Why a government would make the move to flood such a location remains a subject of debate, and one which has led some to accuse the Mexican government of being complicit in the cover-up of a highly advanced, ancient civilization which once lived here on Earth. The fieldwork was finished by 1974. Shortly thereafter, the construction of the Kiban Dam works began, rising the water level and submerging the site away from prying eyes. Who built Norsen Tepe? Why did they build it? It seems this fort has remained impenetrable since the day it was built, even successfully keeping out the elements for untold millennia, preserving untold treasures from a bygone era. Treasures which seemingly shone too bright a light for some to bear. What kind of controversial archaeology is Norsen Tepe protecting? What are these government's bodies attempting to hide? These are questions which must be answered. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care.